In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make an uptime command with Streamlabs Cloudbot. My name is Tree, and I'm extremely supportive for videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time, on twitch.tv slash Tree. If you have any questions about streaming, hop in and just ask. So what we want to do first is log in on streamlabs.com and log in with your Twitch, because this is not a command for YouTube, sadly. Sorry. Then we go to Dashboard. You might have already gotten there by just logging in. Then here on the left, we go to Cloudbot. It's under the Featured Settings. And then we go to Commands, and stay in the Custom tab. Click on Add Command. Here, we can go to Template, scroll down a little bit, and then find the one that says Uptime. There we go. Now it says the stream has been live for Uptime. This part here is a piece of code that transforms into the actual uptime you've been live for. If you want to change this to a different language, you can change the rest of the sentence, but not this uptime part. This uptime part will always be in English. But you can say, for example, in Dutch, the stream is live for, and then uptime. This will basically say the same, but then in Dutch. If you speak Spanish, I'm not that great at Spanish, but you can do it in Spanish, if you know what I mean. If you want to have some funny joke in it, you can just remove this and say uh, Thruy has been... Oh, I can't type in rocking it for... And then it says the uptime. So for example, Thruy has been rocking it for four hours. And then here you want to make sure it says reply in chat. This way everybody in chat can see what your bot says about the uptime. You can also set it on whisper and then only the person that does the, the command uptime We'll get a whisper with the actual uptime, but I recommend just doing it in chat so everybody can see it. And then we have permission. Keep that on everybody because it is nice if everybody can check your uptime. You can also go to advanced settings right in the top right. And then we see global cooldown, user cooldown. This is basically just a cooldown of the um, of the command. So for global cooldown, this means that if um, somebody uses exclamation mark uptime, now for 10 seconds, nobody else can use it. User cooldown is if we would put this on 5, for example. That means that this person that just used uptime cannot use it for another 5 seconds. There's base cost. This is like the cost in loyalty points. Keep that on zero. You don't want uptime to cost anything. And then you can also make it cheaper for subscribers. Leave that the same. Same for regulars and moderators. Keep that all on zero, please. Then we have alias, which means that we can make a second command that is doing exactly the same as our uptime command. So for example, exclamation mark lifetime. So if we do that, lifetime, and then we can even add more. So now it also triggers for exclamation mark lifetime. And then we have keywords here. These are uh, words that can be somewhere in the sentence, so they're not a command. But if, for example, we make this live and then add it. Now, every time somebody says the word live in my chat, the bot will say my uptime. They will say the thing we put here. Tree has been rocking it for and then the uptime. So every time somebody says live, that happens. I would not recommend doing this with this command because it can be a little bit spammy. There are some things that you want to do it with, for example, saying hi to people that come in and say hi, or just a meme you have on your channel, like for me, the 45 meme. Uh, if you don't know it, just type 45 in my Twitch chat. <laughs> and then here, hide on tip page, which means that people cannot see this command when they're looking at your tip page. I would just leave this. And then the SD card was full, but <laughs> I would just leave these. Uh, maybe you want an alias, but I wouldn't set a keyword if I were you. And then click on confirm. What we do now is we make sure that this cloud bot is on, that this is to the right. If it's not to the right, then your cloud bot is off and it will not react. We're going to our own channel here, and then this will appear and it will say chat here. So we click on that. And then here on the need, we will do slash mod stream labs. And now enter. This makes Streamlabs a mod in your channel. This means that it can do a lot more than just a normal user. And then just make sure that the commands will work. So right now, if we would do uptime. Um, Tree has been rocking it for offline because we're not online. We're not online. Stream elements bot apparently is a bit whoop whoop. <laughs> I've been live for a day if you ask stream elements, but Streamlabs got it right, we're not live. 
If you want to know more about Streamlabs, I got a lot more tutorials, so just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there.